We want to create a very futuristic self-contained space that feels like a gallery. The owner is a longtime friend and he's really into art, fashion and architecture. I want the owner when he comes in, he kind of forgets that he's in Hong Kong. The building is located in Taihang in Hong Kong. Taihang literally means valley. It is a mountainous region that looks out to the Victoria Harbour. The neighbourhood is a mix of old and new architecture. There's a number of historical buildings and also affordable housing as well as luxury apartment buildings. The building is built in 2011. The primary use of the apartment is a residential building. When we first found the apartment, it was a two-bedroom and two-bathroom apartment. The space is quite small because it is chopped into many different smaller spaces. So we actually gutted the whole apartment, making sure that basically all the things that are remaining is just the structural walls. We created a very open plan that combines the living, dining and the bedroom area. And we lined the um, periphery wall by storages. When you first enter the house, you pass through the kitchen. Through this very sculptural and wavy door, you enter the living room. We have a very light palette for this living room with a metallic touch in the ceiling. The living room is surrounded by a series of vertical screens. Through these different hidden doors, you discover different functions. Next to the entrance door, there's a TV cabinet and storage. We have chosen Christophe Descartes' pop sofa. It uses the spaces very well because it allows for access at the back to lead into the balcony. We have worked with Sabine Marcellus in creating these one-off, very sculptural resin pieces for the residents. For the coffee table, they are called candy cubes because they are, have these candy colors. The dining table is actually called a soap dining table. They're kind of semi-transparent, so the lighting that comes out from it is a very soft glow. For the dining chair, we have chosen Sini Boeri's Botolo armchairs. For the lighting, they're called Dawn Lighting. It kind of gradiates from orange to green. And so we mimic the same thing in the bed in gradient color glass. On one side, the bed is acting as a backdrop for the dining room. And on the other side, it is creating a very cozy sleeping enclosure. This kind of feels like a room within a bigger room. And it even has its own window looking out at Victoria Harbour. I think in Hong Kong apartment, a lot of the owner needs to look through feng shui. We discussed with the feng shui master, that's the best location of where he should be sleeping. So we try and incorporate these things into the design. Opposite to the other side of the bed, we have another folding screen that leads into the workstation. We want to ensure that the pieces that we have chosen is not just sculptural, but also functional. So the dining chair has wheels underneath, so it can just actually shift from the dining area to the workstation area. We want to have a big contrast between the living and the functional areas. So when you get into the bathroom, you're entering into a space that is like a spaceship. All the walls and the ceiling and the floor is in metallic finishes. In the center, we actually have like a custom-made metallic sink. It is made of stainless steel finishes, as well as back-painted translucent glass. 
we actually built in the cabinet to be along the back side of the sink and we line up the whole way. So it creates a very nice screen. We have an open shower. We simply have like a round metallic column in the middle that's kind of separates the opening. On the other side, we have a hidden door that lead into a walk-in closet. We don't really have any natural light that goes into the bathroom. So we have actually incorporated a skylight from Colas. It really create artificial sunlight and sunbeams into the bathroom. We have combined the kitchen as part of the entrance vestibule. All the ceiling that is done in metallic finishes is reflective to uh, enhance the headroom feeling. The cooktop is a custom kitchen by Arclinia and everything is done in stainless steel finish. On the right side is a series of full height storages that can slide out. And also a full height refrigerator. At the end, you have the washer and dryer stack above each other. We try and put all the full height equipment on the right side as part of the full height storage, therefore leaving the left side more open. We have even incorporated the uh, induction hood as part of the cooktop. So everything just happens underneath the counter to create a very minimal look. There's not a lot of apartments in the middle of the city, so we should try and upgrade what is there. It's simply not an option to just abandon and find a new one. We should try and understand exactly how the owner lives, and based on his lifestyle, we design the spaces. Being experimental in expressing one's style, throwing out the rule book completely to realize a bold vision or lateral mindset can be like living in a piece of art yet comfortable for everyday living. Thanks for watching. To receive updates on our latest episodes, please subscribe and click the notification bell. And if you're an architect or designer with a project we could feature, please share it with us at nevertoosmall.com/submissions.